Yay! 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 Bathroom beezing. This was published by the Wildebeest yesterday, November 7th, 2022. I'm getting to it today, November 8th, 2022. Getting to it fast. And uh, this is uh, almost 17 minutes long. And uh, she's got a link to the other idiot's channel in the description. The comments are turned off. It's the same Natter formula. Uh, the, the, you know, they, they're both going to promote each other. Chantel's got the main channel. Money, money, money. And uh, this one, pretty much you got it all right there. It, it, she's just going to sit in a corner and whisper for like uh, 16 minutes. Now, there's a few things that I can do to make fun of it. Uh, the, the main thing is... We got it all transformed. Come over here for it. There's no point in going to the Creatures channel and making it rich over there. Uh, uh, and Oh, yeah. Th so it's whispering in a corner. Plus, she's always waving her, her left hand in, in your face to show off that fake wedding ring. Uh, so, uh, play my music! I'm not gonna play your music. I'm not gonna lose my monetization. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> so, today's video is just going to be me. We are not surprised because this marriage is a total sham. The two of you are not really uh, a couple in love, newly married. And uh, not only is that bad enough, uh, the entire video is just you sitting in a corner talking to the camera. And that's it. Why is it you're, 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 you're so afraid of showing the apartment? It's just... You know, anyway, anyway, this is all bullshit, okay? So let's 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 just get into the bullshit from this lion piece of shit. And of course, some Caesar juice, which is my favorite orange and carrot juice from here. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. All right. I need a beverage while I'm going to talk because I'm going to be talking in this video. Yes, of course, Chantel. This is a sit down and have a real talk for real, for real, for real sort of uh, production. Uh. That doesn't come from dishonest lying pieces of shit such as yourself, you fucking creature. This is like, let's keep lying to the beezers. It's working. I'm making money by using YouTube as a place to tell lies. And, uh, we all know that while you're speaking, you have never, ever before kept moving your left hand as you speak. This is all an act. Like I keep saying, you're a liar, yet you're no mastermind and you're always a bad actress. Yo, it's a sit down and talk video. I want to do a series of videos where I'm just talking about... There are a lot of abrupt edits in this thing that the creature has made. So they are not coming from me. I'm playing the entire thing for you. And um, not only is Chantel not a mastermind, uh, she's stupid. You know, I mean, her audience is made of, of people who are just as stupid as her or stupider. And so... The way she approaches it is just like, I'll just casually talk and keep waving this uh, 10 cent wedding ring in everyone's face. Because that proves that I'm really, really married. Because how would I uh, be able to have this ring and wear it here if I wasn't married? I mean, it's just so weak and stupid. I mean, pick your word. This is garbage. Things that I know you guys would want to know about. Specifically pertaining to this travel journey. Now that was redundant and i'm the only one that's gonna pick up on it because i'm so smart here uh travel journey like you know uh i'm on a weight loss journey i'm on a house hunting journey uh i'm on a travel journey <laughs> it's like saying you're on a travel travel you're on a journey journey ah oh, chantelle you so stupid because i do see a lot of comments uh, people wondering, being my size, as big as I am. 
That is not what we are wondering about. We've already forgotten about that. We know that you're the size of a hippopotamus and somehow you wore a diaper and pissed yourself and made the, the journey there. Uh, we've forgotten about it. Uh, no one's talking about that. What we're talking about is that uh, uh, you're not going to the malls. Uh, this guy is not hugging and kissing you. There's no uh, footage of any wedding ceremony. There ain't no uh, extended family of Salah hugging and kissing you and welcoming you to the family. Uh, he takes you out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Uh, you know, everything is, is sus and weird. Uh, that's what, what what people are asking questions about. And, uh, over here at this channel, we know this is all bullshit. <laughs> you ain't married. Not for real, for real. And, and if it's just to get him over to Canada because he's LGBT, that's dishonest too. How did you travel to the Middle East? One of the hot, especially to one of the hottest places on the planet, Kuwait. If you've... This here, the wildebeest, always putting the fake wedding ring into the shot and really overdoing it. I mean, that's the running joke here for, for, for this reaction. Uh, I, I, I just, she's no mastermind. She's a bad actress. I don't want to repeat myself. I'm repeating myself because she's putting the ring in your face again. It's like, I, I, I'm, that's how I'm going to convince him. I just got to keep showing the ring. Watch my Dang, I mean, me for a while. this is you desperate shit here. Past videos, you've seen my life up until now. So, especially somebody like me, it's very shocking for someone like me to do something like that. I just want to say that I think this is a lesson that I don't think that people really understand that what people show you online. We actually do understand, Chantel, what you are all about because you did show it online. Uh, which is, uh, you used to be a mukbanger, and then you gave up on it, because you slowly began to realize that you could get more money by telling lies with doing less work. And you just went with it, and went with it, and then we, uh, got to, to, to learn from your activities that, that, that you really love to just sit around the townhouse, do drugs, and stuff yourself. You just let yourself go. And, uh, as long as you're walking around the townhouse getting high and ordering shit to eat, you figured, I'll oh, turn the camera on. And uh, when you said that you charged Nader Elshami with rape, assault, forcible confinement, and that, that was the, the crescendo of that story. Because that was very exciting. The thing is, over here, I'm intelligent. While the other reaction channels are either not intelligent or they're playing along because they get more money. Because, you know, the shit show, the train wreck... I just call you what you are, an, an immoral spectacle that should be off the platform. And uh, we can tell that you're just a great big liar, so uh, we know what, what you are. It's just what they show you online. I don't think that people really understand fully everything that's going on inside of me. And that's, you're not meant to. <laughs> Do you like how she adds a fake laugh there to sort of make that seem legitimate? As if to say, well, uh, you... People really don't know what you're talking about, and you don't understand that you don't know what I'm really all about. Uh, you don't know shit, and uh, the thing is, you're not supposed to know, and that's why you don't know either. Uh, uh, no, uh, we do know. Uh, you're the one that went uh, on this platform many, many, many times and said that you were raped and assaulted and that you had brought charges. And, uh, you did that constantly for months and months and months. We're not making a uh, misinterpretation here. Now, you've deleted all them streams after you made the, your money off of them. That doesn't mean that we forget what you did and what you really are. These are things that I keep personal in my life. Um, and there are, I have shared a lot of things with you guys, yes. I have been very, very open. I'll say you've been open. You've been open for business. Hey everybody, here's my bare ass. You want you want my bare ass? Five dollars a month. You want my titties too? You got you can have it all. Bare ass and titties, five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Come on, I'm over here. Throw me five bucks. You can have everything. I'm open. I'm very open. I'm gonna be open to what I feel comfortable with being open with. So anyway, my point with all that was Your point is this. The lie does not stand up to scrutiny.
So while the Natter story uh, uh, fostered all kinds of stupid comments and speculation from stupid people which kept your channel hot and kept you making lots of money, now, I mean, the whole story's been played out. I mean, like, you said you were going to have him charged, and then you, he's not charged, and uh, you say you dropped it. You can't do that. That's a crime called public mischief in Canada. It, it's also a crime everywhere in the civilized world. So there wasn't anything else you could do with it, so now you're doing this way. You've turned comments off for the longest time ever. They're probably going to stay uh, turned off, too. So what you're really saying is don't question me on anything uh, because then the story falls apart real fast. Um, I think that people don't really fully know me. They don't really know that I have this... That little move she just did? That was acting. Bad acting. From somebody who is just serving up a lying story. And, you know, she's got to really set the stage. Uh, and, and, and leave the comments turned off for a long time before she dares turn them back on again. And that's what this is for. Sense of burning desire to just sometimes experience life in a way I never thought that I would ever do it. And What do you mean by that, you lying turd? So instead of having a burning desire to stuff yourself with Burger King in Canada, you go to Kuwait and have your paid actor bring you the same shit in a different country. You're Burger King, baby. Then after you get your giant bag of shit, you eat it in a different way, which is a total acting job for a monster such as yourself. I've done a lot of walking, I deserve it. <laughs> Beauty bite. By the way, let me thank you for uh, putting that ring into the shot one more time. Well, at least up to this point, that is. You're going to keep doing it for the rest of this lying garbage video that you made. And I, that's how I like to live my life. Kind of spontaneously, just, you know, just crazy life. I oh, Chantel, what a crazy life that you have. We know that you're nothing more than a fucking good-for-nothing, boring, 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 boring stoner in a townhouse telling lies and dirty stories morning, noon, and night. And for some reason, you're getting away with it. I guess you can make fun of the slaughter of kids of the United States of America. And you can make fun of the tragedy in America of 9-11. And an American-based company allows you to get away with it. I do not know why. Like I said, you're just an object lesson. And if there's something positive that we can take from it. There is. Then we encounter things such as yourself in our own lives that we need to just cut them off and stop giving them chances. I love it. I love having a crazy life. All right. So this part one, or episode one, is going to be talking about my experience with the actual... The more that you keep putting that thing into the shot to say that you're stupid beezers, look, this proves it. I'm really married. Everything's for real. We're totally in love. We're a couple for real. This is a legit marriage. The more you're just proving to the smart people here at this channel that it is a desperate lie job. Traveling as an... Uh, obese person, or overweight person, and uh, anything from the how I handle the heat, uh, the seats, and just all of the extra activity. Uh, basically, again, if you're kind of new here, uh, or just a reminder, I'm a person who has come from a very sedentary lifestyle. Uh, I'm from Canada, and I not use. I don't. I'm not a person who loves the heat. I'm not a person who loves activity and all of those things that I have to do here. But I am a person who does love to challenge myself when I feel the time is right. I have done that in my past and I'll get into that now. So just a bit of a history with flying. Um, I know that flying fat is a huge topic for people who are overweight. It's a big anxiety. Traveling when you're overweight, uh, doing anything when you're uh, excessively overweight is extremely difficult uh, for a lot of people, including myself, and it makes traveling extra difficult, of course. I first went on an airplane when I was 10, and I was a pretty chubby kid, but I don't really remember the experience other than just my ears being blocked and my mom giving me chewing gum and, and insisting, 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 chew gum, chew gum, your ears won't pop. Sorry, I, I talk a lot with my hands, I know. I'm, I'm very, very happy and I really love this Arabian gold. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Yes, I'm showing off my ring. 
I was 10 and we were going to Florida to visit my grandfather who resides in Florida. And that's all I remember about the flight. I wasn't terribly nervous. Now, fast forward to about 2001, I had traveled around Canada in a program called Katimavik, which was funded by the Canadian government. At the time, they would pay for youth to get out of their house and experience Canada, do something different, do some volunteer work. So I, I would volunteer um, 40 hours a week, actually, um, in Katimavik. And I remember purposely pushing myself to do this. Uh, no one in my family believed that I would go for seven months, travel around Canada as a 17 year old uh, alone. Um, I was homesick at first. I do have some series on that on my channel and some videos, but um, that was the second time I had to use an airplane a couple of times. And it was a small plane. I remember that I was 200 pounds, I think approximately 200 pounds at the time. Now, I don't remember feeling much anxiety about flying or about the seatbelt or anything like that. Um, 200 pounds is still not terribly super obese to the point where you won't fit on a plane or you fear that you, are, you won't fit in public transportation. And actually, that brings me to my point where I you don't actually worry about fitting anywhere until it actually happens, that dreadful, embarrassing moment Sorry, I need some juice. The juice and the pickles here, top notch. So over the years, I my weight increased, increased, increased over the years. And it got to the weight that it was, which was very excessive. Thanks for being so open with us, Chantel. Uh, y y your weight was not very excessive. It is very excessive and you're saying very excessive because we cannot trust you for a real way and you lie about those things and even though the filters are working to reshape uh, your face whenever you would lean over and push back we could see you're shaped like a pile of shit literally shaped like a pile of shit emoji and we don't expect you to be uh, telling the truth anytime soon um especially for health and everything else like that um, you guys know I'm a person who's all about body positivity, loving who you are regardless. Does this thing believe that simply by telling lies it can wipe out what it really is and what it's really said and done for years? For an audience of idiots, yes, I guess it does work. Chantel body shames, age shames, appearance shames. She even penis shames guys that she pretends she's been with just to give herself some uh, scintillating talk to offer on her lying channel. And it's just going to carry on. I mean, like, uh, where is her loving husband? Uh, how come they're not so into themselves and having a honeymoon? And instead of that, she's sitting here in a corner whispering to the camera, telling lies, as usual. Of your shape, size, whatever. But um, when it comes to damaging your health, that's a bit uh, of a different issue for me. But regardless, I do still think that people, while they're dealing with their health issues, have a right to be comfortable and happy traveling and living life and not feeling like a complete outcast. But um, so uh, I did travel to Cuba. That was the first trip um, in April where I was feeling some anxiety. Okay, I'm gonna say I was as terrified as I've probably been thinking about a flight. Uh, I was, you know, I would in Just wanna take a moment here to uh, chat with you guys to say that uh, this material is boring, and, you know, what, what she's trying to do here is just try to act like a normal human being, both of which she is not. And, and uh, so it, it's just setting the stage, you know, it like, this is dull, and she's talking about, oh, this is what it's like uh, to be a fat, uh, a fat Canadian, as if it makes any difference to be, you know, to be from Canada, that... With some way, the fat is different, and the traveling was very difficult. If you're wondering, it certainly was. It's just, you see, look, the act of her sitting here pretending to have a real talk, that's what, 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 what's, what, you know, it's like what they sometimes say, you know, it, it's, it's, it, 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 it's not what we teach you that you'll learn. It's what we don't teach you that you'll learn. Like when you go to public school, I mean, you're really being taught to get up at the same time every day and not to cause problems and ask questions and be a troublemaker you know and then after you leave school you vote for one of the two political parties and you know you you don't make waves and you know it, it's sort of like that so this video that she's making is not about the fat story it's about her sitting there and pretending to be 
a normal human being. And uh, that's why it's so boring. You know, she's got a, a lot more garbage coming for the holiday season. Big cash in. That's why this is so boring. So don't blame me for it. <laughs> Operation, I would like it obsessively just look for seats that you know maybe a window seat maybe at the back no one will sit beside me i was hoping you know am i gonna have to buy two seats just all these anxieties were flooding in my brain i'm getting at people were you need two seats you need two seats don't 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 put yourself on someone else don't you know don't take up space don't take up space no i'm gonna tell you never be afraid to take up space take up space all right enough however um when I got on the plane uh, for Cuba, the Sunwing plane, I did do a video on that, but it was just, that was my first experience. I think that broke the ice for me, and I kind of expected all economy seats to be kind of similar standard size. Now, I'm an apple shape, so from the side, I'm more larger than wide like this. I don't have very wide hips, so I carry most of my weight in my abdomen. Therefore, I was able to fit in the seat um, all right. It was a little snug, but it wasn't uncomfortable. It wasn't digging in. Uh, however, I did need a seatbelt extender because the seatbelt was like coming like this. <laughs> you know, I needed that extra space. So I had the seatbelt extender and um, they were very nice. I just asked the flight attendant. Now, those are things that if you are embarrassed to do because people did look at me, like literally the plane was like already filling up and the the stewardess was kind of like busy a little bit and i had to just kind of like say hey can i have a seatbelt extender and everyone watched me ask her like everyone so and and that to me honestly i guess i'm just lucky i just don't place i've learned over the years i guess it's taken a bit of mental work i guess but i've just always just never really cared too much about what people think about me in public you guys know that <laughs> So luckily for me, I was like, hey, like I'm the kind of person, let's just put it this way. I'm the kind of person that's like, no matter who I am, what size I am, what I look like, it's like, I will go anywhere in the world and be like, hey, here I am. This is how I am. You know, I'm not going to apologize for it. So that's, that's how I dealt with the Sunwing situation. Um, now for this trip, uh, specifically, I flew with Qatar Airlines. I heard that it was bit more comfortable uh maybe the seats were a bit larger so i just figure you know what i'll just ask for a seat belt extender it's a longer flight but i thought hey i can do this so i just have the attitude i can do this you can do this you're gonna do this and i just do it i don't know i just do it and um maybe a part of it is just i'm kind of a bit of an adrenaline junkie a little bit where uh in in a sense where i like to push myself and i find that even more now i'm loving pushing myself even more so what i have to say about the 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 trip um when i got to the montreal airport the walking wasn't too bad it wasn't too far i had to walk to the uh, check-in uh with qatar airlines in the montreal airport now leaving canada was where all of the i need to walk everywhere happens <laughs> and and things just get more um harder and hotter as as I travel so I got on the plane and my seat was like way at the back and I heard someone say in the the stewardess say like we have a full plane so I kind of like oh, looked at the seat beside me and I thought oh no 12 hours with somebody that I don't know and like maybe a strange person uh, I don't know so but I knew what it was a possibility so but I had a window seat that was the best thing for me because I love looking out the window um and of course, right at the back near the lavatory, because I want to avoid just having to walk down long aisles through people. Um, maybe that is a little bit of an insecurity. I just, I don't know, but I just, yeah. Um, the lavatory, you're all wondering about the lavatory and the planes. Um, actually, it's actually big enough. Like the door, I thought the door was only this big, but it's actually, there's two doors like that and they fold in half. So you take the the door and you just open it and it folds open and then you close it behind you and actually the lavatories in the Qatar Airlines bathroom are actually really nice. They have like air or eau de toilette and everything. They have like everything. And um there was enough room. It was a little stuck, but I actually had enough room to like stand up and move along and wash my hands and everything. So I was like, yes, okay. Um so that was good. Um I did actually get to check out the bathroom because that honestly Airplane bathrooms. Oh, this is like, um, this is one thing that really 
that, yeah, it like freaked me out. I was like, oh my god, what if I get stuck? Or I don't know. It's just like all these irrational thoughts just poured into my brain. So, but because I was at the back near the lavatory, um, I actually got to talk to a lot of nice people because um, I actually made friends with a nice Iranian woman. <laughs> waiting for the bathroom with the queue. People would queue near my seat and I would just talk about them. <laughs> so yay. Bathroom beezing. So once I had my seatbelt extender in and once I heard that I was waiting, I was waiting nervously looking like okay, look the suspense. Is somebody gonna come and sit in my seat? You know, everyone's moving down the aisles and sure enough, um finally the pilot was like um all passengers on board and nobody was sitting beside me. So so I actually didn't purchase two seats. I, I never purchased two seats. I just, I'm okay with the seatbelt extender. And I actually um, had this seat to myself because it wasn't a full plane. So I was actually really lucky. I got to put my leg up and just rest. And I actually, one thing being bigger and especially in the abdomen area, um, I find is a problem on airplanes for me is the table tray. I'm not able to actually fully full, uh, fold down the tray in front of me, it hits my stomach a little bit. So what I did was I actually just used the tray from the, the empty chair and just used that as my mealtime tray, which was fine. And the little toiletries kit they give you on the plane, uh, I remember in my first vlog there was a little um, pouch with a whole bunch of things in it and I didn't really uh, know at the time what it was. So they give you like a toothbrush, toothpaste, they give you a pair of socks, they give you um, a blanket, which is in like a plastic wrapping, so a brand new blanket. I actually kept it as a souvenir. Why not? And I kept the socks. Um, they give you some headphones, they give you a mask, and some earplugs. So, because there was a screaming child on board the whole time. <laughs> so I actually, the earplugs, once I put the mask on, I just like, I like I showed you in my video, I actually did doze off even without my CPAP. That's a problem because I do use a CPAP machine that uh, I couldn't plug that in. Um, but... I didn't really need it. I was able to just doze in and off and I knew that once I got to my destination I would be able to sleep. I was tired though um, arriving at the uh, Hamad International Airport. You have to look this airport up if you don't believe me. So I walked around the airport for a long time until I finally found somebody, like it was a connecting flight, until I finally found somebody uh, who looked up, who scanned my ticket and looked up which gate I needed to go to. And they were like, you need to go to gate C, I think C39 or something like that anyway. So then I was like, where is that? Is it far? And she's like, oh yes, miss, it's too far. You're going to need a train. So you need to go stand. There's a little location where you stand if your gate is really far off, you need to take this train. So, or this little cart. So this guy kept uh, this guy picked us all up and um, was bringing us to the gate and the whole way he's like, excuse me, that's why I kept putting it in my video because the whole way, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, almost running people over and just speeding across the airport. Um, hugest airport I've ever seen. That creature finally gave me something to work with. Holy cow, I hope you folks are still awake. Uh, the hugest airport that you've ever seen? And, uh, why is it that I do not believe you when you said you have two years of university studying English? Uh, this thing lies all the time, just remember that. Uh, please, carry on with this boring garbage. Hugest airport I've ever seen in my life. It's huge, huge. I think it was uh, rated the number one airport in the world right now. But it is... I underestimated how large it is. It's bad. <laughs> so I was um, actually very thankful for that because I was actually really tired and it would have been a heck of a hike with my luggage. So I just, uh, yeah, they, they dropped me off at my gate and then I had to wait for a bit and took the connecting flight into uh, Kuwait. So when I got off the plane in Kuwait, I had to, um, I, it, was, it was just, it was so hot. It was so hot that even just being in the air conditioned airport, I could feel like myself starting to sweat a bit. And then I had to walk around. I was really tired. This was, um, I was getting really tired at this point And I just, I was a kind of crabby and um, not hungry because we were well fed on the planes um, with snacks, even on the connecting flight, even just an hour, they gave us a snack and some juice. So I was okay there. But oh my gosh, when I got to, when I got to Kuwait, I just wanted to get 
in the car, air conditioning and, and, you know, get to my destination. And, um, I just, it was so hot. Like just, just the few seconds I was outside, it was so hot. It hasn't been super hot since then. It's been in the twenties, so it's not too bad. But that one day I arrived, yeah, it was really hot. Um, I was sweating buckets, buckets of sweat. <laughs> I was sweating a lot, a lot, a lot. It's a complete new environment for me and everything like that. So I just wanted to share a little bit of, with you about my experience traveling here. I know a lot of you have questions uh, and I hope I answered some of them for you. So in closing, I guess I can say, I just, yeah, it was hot and hard to do. It was hard to do to travel um, being so overweight, but it was worth it and it, I challenged myself to do it and I feel better having come out the other side. And furthermore, I really, really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with me. So I thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. What a god dang piece of garbage that was. What could anybody have done with it? Well, I think we had a bit of fun with it and we just documented how bad it was. The only vibe I'm getting off this creature is that this is another grift. It's got to be pushed through and it's just... Yeah, blah, 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 fake voice, blah, 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 then I did this, wait, 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 then I did that, then it's, wait, 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 did you just create like, uh, almost 17 minutes of content when there's not really anything going on? I mean, you were ex uh, promising all this exciting content, and, and that, that's what you're, you're giving us? Now, the, the, the only, the, 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 there's no way this thing. Has just married her 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 man, and they're a, a couple in love. I mean, if if this was was for real, because those of us who got some experience and who are adults, we know that she wouldn't even be bothering to make these videos. She would just be on the honeymoon with him, meeting his family. They'd be uh, spending time with themselves. She doesn't need the money. She could take like two weeks straight off and just you know be with him. If any of this was real. It's just so weak. I mean, and it's just it's gonna appeal to, to Beezers who believe this. Uh, you know, you hang around here. Look, get in on the fun. This was terrible. So, please share your comments. And if you think I did a good job, you might even want to hit the thanks button, please. And, uh, well, yeah, get in on it. Make a comment, please. And, well, uh, that's it. Thanks for coming by.